What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. We've got our first bit of news on eFootball 2023. It's not a lot, but we do have our first details. They did send out a tweet. Konami put out a tweet today, um, a couple of hours ago, and said that in preparation for the new season, we will be updating eFootball 22 to eFootball 23 in late August. So more information will be available soon. Please stay tuned. And then they also add to the thread by saying we'll continue collecting as much feedback from our esteemed users as possible, keep improving and implementing new features. As a part of the update, your in-game assets and other data will be carried over. And then they also say that everything else, such as your um, your coins, your GP and stuff, they were going to be announcing that in-game for information on that. They will be announcing that in-game. And then they just say thank you for being part of our community and bring on eFootball23. So... There isn't a lot to go through here, but then there's also, on the other side of things, there is a good lot of stuff to go through here. It opens up a lot of questions um, and not that many answers here at the moment because I've been bombarded with people asking me through Twitter DMs, through YouTube, um, through messages on Instagram or whatever, people saying, how are our teams going to carry over? How are the contracts going to work? All the stuff that seems to be, you know, like that we're wondering, it seems to be up in the air at the moment. I think that they have put a couple of breadcrumbs. If you look at Dream Team and the way it's designed, I think that the answers are kind of there. But if you guys missed my video uh, yesterday when I'm talking about the news roundup and a major update incoming, I actually did kind of predict that this update was going to be coming late August. So I said about two weeks from now, which would put us at the 25th of August, I think. And the reason why I kind of thought that was because of the events in game. So obviously we had the news on the French uh, national team as an exclusive partnership, but all of these events here you can see here. So the premium objectives end in six days, the Barcelona legend in six days, the Spanish league stars are 13 days, and then there's a couple of other bits and pieces as well in there that are ending in 13 days. And it makes sense that they're going to have maybe like a week downtime where they'll keep the divisions and everything ticking away, but that they're going to be bringing in new, um, obviously new premium objectives, probably new legends, new events, and they need to shake things up content wise because I think that's been the biggest disappointment for people that are actually enjoying Dream Team um, you know such as myself in some way shape or form I'm finding a good lot of enjoyment out of it even though there's a lot of issues with it the gameplay 1.1.4 at the moment is a very mixed bag for me and we'll get into that in a future video but for those that are actually enjoying Dream Team they're just craving content a reason to actually play it so yeah I do think that that probably does ring true and as you can see here as well in the actual events that we have from the yesterday's video as we're just watching here you can see there that the starter pack there was a new one that was put in and that ends in 13 days so obviously that's 12 days from now um you know so it probably makes sense obviously that it will be around the 24 25th they seem to do all their updates on the thursdays that seems to be the big update and then they always have new agents on the monday so yesterday as well if you guys head over to eFootball db you will notice that the actual data has been updated. So you can see here that Halland has gone uh, to City. You can see here the little City crest. And you can see that a lot of transfers are done for the Premier League, uh, the, the German League, the Bundesliga, all those teams that are licensed, obviously. Um, and then you have Martinez here at United. The ratings still seem to be the same. Levels, everything se still seems to be the same, but I expect that to change because Halland is at a base 85. This is obviously his dream team rating, not his actual offline rating. Graven Birch, obviously, you can see there, has gone to Bayern Munich and so on and so on and so on. Um, so they have actually already started that process of updating their own database um, to the new season, the new eFootball 2023 season. You know what I mean? And they also added the Manchester United kits last week or whatever uh, and stuff like that. So when we actually go in here, right, and I want to show you a couple of bits and pieces here, right? Then when they announce this, they do give us a few bits of details here, but it's not much. They've already kind of relayed this and we read it out on Twitter. But they say that eFootball23 will include additional domestic leagues as well as data updates to reflect promotions, releg relegations, and player transfers. So that's going to be squads. Everything like that should be up to date. And then in-game asset and other data carryover the following in-game assets will be carried over. So your eFootball coins, your GP, um, your eFootball points, your coins, your GP, the player data, manager data, objectives, login bonus, in-game items, and settings. They'll all carry over. All, however, they say, please note that these following game assets may suffer changes. So player and manager affiliations and the player card designs themselves. And then they also talk about a large-scale maintenance for the license update. So I expect that to be a very um, huge maintenance that when it comes out of that maintenance, the game is going to look very, very different uh, in terms of like the cards, in terms of the squads, in terms of stuff like that. Now, we don't have any news on gameplay, right? So 
And this might just be like a couple of, as we usually get, um, you know, you'll have players, they, they say here that players no longer available will be replaced with in-game items of equivalent value. So again, we'll see how that actually works out. But they don't talk about anything gameplay wise. You know what I mean? They don't really mention anything about gameplay. So we will have to wait and see what the crack is with that, lads. Um, because as I said, I think 1.1.4, even though I'm enjoying parts of it, it is a mixed bag, man. To me, I'm finding it's like, you know, one in every three games now is a struggle. Whereas with V1.1.0, the original V1.0, I found that it was like 70, 80% of my games were enjoyable, win, lose, or draw. Um, you know, obviously you'd have the odd issue with connections or whatever, but we will go into that in, uh, in another video. But when we actually look in here, lads, right? And I want to show you guys this, the roadmap that they released a long, 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 long time ago when they first announced this roadmap. Obviously, things have changed since then. Um, and obviously, we have, you know, we have got our uh, dream team out. We have our other stuff coming out. Obviously, the team building mode, the online leagues and stuff like that. It's This is kind of like outdated now because they have a load of different stuff that they're going to be doing on now. And the thing that people are asking me, right, is the actual roadmap. I still think that there is kind of like, they are sticking to the roadmap because if we go in here, right, and I'm going to switch back to our browser, we will see that the seasons that are actually classified in, you know, like let's just say business terms, right? So when we talk about summer, we think June, July, August, right? Um, that's kind of, you know, the summer months when people are off school and whatever. But the actual seasons here on Wikipedia for the Japanese calendar is winter at November the 8th to the 4th of February. So we still have a long period to go before I think we will see a lot of the stuff that they said would be coming in late, you know what I mean, in winter. So if we go back to this roadmap, even though this roadmap is outdated now, using that information that we had. So we talk about autumn being from the 9th of August, right, which was the other day, to November the 7th, which is going to bring us right through autumn. So we're going to have autumn, we're going to have late autumn, right, we have got a new roadmap, I think, that we will see whether they will put out a new roadmap and an official image or will they convey it through like their, you know, in-game stuff or whatever. But I still think that we will get this stuff, you know, in the late autumn and in the, in the winter. So like we could potentially, if they're doing this, right, the last Thursday in November before um, November 7th is... November the, November the 3rd, right? So November the 3rd is the last Thursday in November before the winter season kicks in, right? So potentially they could add this new online league and the cross-platform matches and the match pass system November the 3rd and they would still be sticking to the roadmap. And I just think that people think of winter as like, you know, um, like, you know, November, December, like Christmas time, you know what I mean? So it is important to see that the seasons, now saying that, you know, the content has been really lacking and I think the lack of uh, coming out and actually saying, okay, this is an updated roadmap, I think that's what we actually do need. Um, but it still seems that like, you know, the winter, you could be potentially talking about on this roadmap here. If you're talking about them adding something in the winter and you're thinking about it December, it could actually be up until the February the 4th in the new year in 2023. So that is something to keep in mind. So, um... So that is it for that now, right? We also put up a tweet there earlier on the Pez Uni um, where we kind of asked a lot of people, uh, you know, for their, uh, this is the wrong tweet, sorry, lads. Uh, we asked a lot of people for their thoughts on what was announced today, basically, uh, on this. And again, a lot of people are split down the middle. As I said, there's two types of people, um, I think two types of fan bases at the moment. There's one that isn't really enjoying the game and there's one that isn't enjoying the game so much. And those that are not enjoying the game it's kind of for a lot of different reasons, you know, they want offline and they want, you know, a lot of the problems that they have online to be fixed. There is some people then that are enjoying the game, even with all the issues, they continue to play it and they continue to find some enjoyment somewhere, whether it's through just not being able to stop playing it or not being able to let go or move on to something else, or that they actually genuinely, you know, don't play it enough to see a lot of the issues. Because you have to remember guys, right, that, um, I'll just switch over, sorry there lads, you have to remember that there is a lot of people that play this game sporadically, you know what I mean, that they might play three or four games a week. So they're not going to see the same issues and have run into the same problems that you will in a, you know, six hour play session on a Saturday night or something like that. So that's just something um, to to keep in mind. But yeah, we had a lot of uh, a lot of replies to this. Shale's obviously getting the cheeky mention in for the design, the dinosaurs and the penguins. Uh, Konami's plan to implement a large scale maintenance. Um 
for the process of an in-game carry asset carryover. This means that the year would be ruined again. I presume that uh, he said he's thinking that the, the players are going to come. You know, it's not going to be a reset. Uh, apologies if that's the wrong way of looking at it. So Aaron says here, as a matter, master league player for the past God knows how long. I'm gutted. It looks like offline is going to be pushed back indefinitely. Again, we don't have anything on offline or anything like that. But look, there's a load of people question here. I'm going to do a specific video on that, getting to all you guys' replies. And if anyone's on YouTube watching this video, head over to the Twitter, and I will feature you in the next video that I do talking about that because I don't want to take make this video you know, a, a two-parter. This is just our first eFootball 2023 details and news and a little bit of predictions and just talking out my my thoughts on what could happen. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, are you excited? Are you optimistic? Are you cautious? Are you no longer interested? Let me know what you guys think for eFootball 2023. Get in touch in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a while, lads. Peace.